Good morning everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then welcome, cheers, I hope you're all good. Now I know the majority of you aren't going to believe this but it is currently, it's gone 9 o'clock and this is my first first cup of tea of the day what an absolute letdown so hello hello ignore my hair i've just taken it out of a bobble it was shoved on top of my head when i was in the shower it is greasy what's new with me i never bloody wash my hair so i need to sort that out at some point today to be honest i'm not really doing much of anything this morning but i just wanted to film like a random morning vlog i am literally just at home chilling i'm in my tracksuit or comfy just feels so fresh this morning obviously i've been off youtube now i think my last video do you know what because i upload twice a week when i have like a little break from youtube it feels like weeks and it's actually probably only one week i think my last video was like a week ago or like a week and a half ago so yeah good to be back there was no real reason why i wasn't here on youtube it's just because i've had a bit going on over the last couple of weeks and my best friend has been here from london which has just been so so nice she goes home today so yeah i've just not had time to like fully vlog fully film edit and upload but that's just one of those things sometimes life just gets a bit busy but i'm back with my usual twice weekly uploads do you know what guys let's just have a deep conversation for a minute my best friend we have been best friends since we were children so we went to nursery together we went to primary school together then high school together then we stayed on at sixth form together she then went to london for university she ended up in amsterdam for her masters and now she's back living in london and one bit of life advice i would give is if you have a good long term is long term the right word yeah a good long term friendship then just bloody look after it because like i said she's been my best friend for just forever i don't remember my life without her in it and she means so 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 much to me and it's just something like i'm learning so much as i'm getting older and i'm really feel like i'm really growing into my own skin and let's say the older i get like i used to dread getting older but the older i get the happier i get the more myself i feel it's just so so nice but yeah another thing with the getting older is that i just realize like good friends are so so important and and yeah i'm just so proud of her and just a bit of life advice on this glorious kind of glorious kind of grey morning hold on to good friends because honestly they just get you through life don't they having spent a couple of weeks with her i just feel so full of love full of life just so content so happy anyway this morning was up at quarter to six as per usual i'm not gonna lie i was really tired this morning and that's genuinely not like me like i am a constant burst of energy like i just have so much energy all the time but this morning i was really tired but i've actually had um three days off the gym and reason being i mentioned it a couple of weeks ago in a vlog my back had started hurting a little bit more badly than usual i have like long-term lower back issues i've slipped a disc in the past trapped nerve just always been really sporty and really athletic and so i just hurt my back over the years it's something that i've dealt with it's nothing new but recently it was like different and it wasn't just like the odd niggle that i sometimes get it's been quite sore so anyway i started having physio and a few days ago in my last physio session i I had acupuncture for the first time ever might I add so I had acupuncture in my lower back and also at like the bottom of my legs and my Achilles heel my back feels the best it has ever felt like I cannot believe after one session of acupuncture that's how good it feels and I can't believe I've never done it before I mean maybe in previous treatments I wasn't old enough maybe but yeah it was recommended that even though my back obviously felt amazing I don't go straight back to the gym have a few days off just let your back get over the session and that's what I've done so this morning morning up at six o'clock came downstairs and got james's lunch ready so i batch make james soup every week for his lunch in work and i freeze them and defrost them on like a nightly basis the night before also i've really been trying recently to drink a pint of water like as soon as i get up because i have noticed the difference in the fact that it's making me feel really energized and then i headed to the gym for when it opened at quarter past six you know what the best thing is about be 
being in the gym at that time is that it is literally empty the only people that go at that time are the same people that go at that time every single day I trained upper body today which felt really good my back felt amazing and I did some stretches that the physio has given to me then come home and of course we went on a WALK the real word because bumper is staring at me and he's already been I don't want him to think we're going again do you know what I mean I'm home had a shower put my cozies on and here I am ready for a nice chilled morning anyway I've been chatting rubbish for way too long I love a deep chat in the morning don't I honestly look at my hair need to sort this out here he is my little darling are you in the sunshine okay so whilst I was sorting out yesterday oh god it feels so nice and clean in here um I had a little bit of a move around in my studio I just wanted it to be like super minimal super empty super basic and this massive box arrived with loads of bits in so I I really need to sort through that today because I just don't want any clutter and then yesterday I even sorted my utility room out which honestly really needed doing oh my god um odd socks if you don't have a little pile of odd socks in your utility room then you're winning at life because no matter even if I put them in the wash as a pair they still come out odd that's what I wanted to show you so I always use Lenore spring awakening and they didn't have any when I was in home bargains yesterday but they did have this they've got like a limited edition summer collection they had this um fabric softener which is called summer vibes and i just thought that's me all over like you know i love a good vibe literally smells incredible like i can't even tell you how good it smells anyway the reason the main reason for today's video is that along with loads of other random bits of pr yesterday my june glossy box arrived you guys know how much i love my glossy box you've seen me unbox it before you've seen me unbox it in random vlogs i just love getting this on a monthly basis it's my favorite thing so having glossy box is my little way of trying new things on a monthly basis and getting to know things that i might love trying out out things that I would never normally pick up and I just love that that's the best thing because obviously you don't know really what you're gonna get and yeah it's just a great way to introduce yourself to new brands so of course I have a discount code for you all what would be a cosmetics unboxing with me without a discount code I just literally live for a discount like whenever I can use one I always will honestly the glossy box is just so prestige I just love it so much like look how gorgeous that is but anyway let me pull up a pew and we'll go through what's inside so glossy box if you don't know what glossy box is then you must be new here because i must admit i have banged on about glossy box now for a while so glossy box is a subscription service you can just buy the box on a monthly basis so get like a one monthly subscription you can get a three six or a 12 month subscription as well i just do it rolling on a yearly basis because of who i am as a person like i said the reason why i do it is because i'm a creature of habit i stick to the same products and this is just like my way of like introducing new things into like my skincare my makeup my hair care you always get at least five products and they're always worth at least 50 pounds so when you think about it it's such good value for money before we get into the unboxing i'm just going to talk to you about my code so my code is asha just my name in capital letters i'll pop it on screen here and with this code at the moment you'll be able to get a free box with that code so if you sign up to a subscription you will get one free box with that code so you're essentially getting two boxes for the price of one when you start that subscription so that's amazing i love being able to give discount codes because i just love a bog i'm not gonna lie their june box is their dreaming of paradise box which just sounds very summery very glowy very self-care vibe so i'm really excited to see what's inside you always get this little card that almost looks like a magazine cover and this will always explain to you what is inside the box which i love it gives you an idea of what's behind the brand what each thing does and this is obviously what we're getting in the June box. You always seem to get like little additional things in addition to like the products that you get. So these are coffee bags. Cute. Honestly love it when people put like food or drink testers and things. That's just a winner for me. So first of all I think four of these must be full size. Yeah four of them are full size and one of them is a deluxe mini. First of all we've got the Nip and Fab Vitamin C Scrub Fix. Let me tell you I have been obsessed with Nip and Fab for the longest time and especially their Vitamin 
C range. If you really want to brighten your skin, I cannot recommend this range enough. I actually ran out of this scrub, I'd say like maybe a month or two ago, and it did wonders for my skin. Since I had surgery on my nose, I suffer with like bigger pores on my nose, and I've never had like porous skin whatsoever. And this was the first thing that I turned to, and it helped so much. So it looks like this. Like I say, it is full size. Yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. I'm actually buzzing that this has come in the box. Like, what a good little thing to have. Next up, and it's so funny because I was literally looking everywhere yesterday for my micellar water. I couldn't find it anywhere. This is a full size. The Garnier micellar water, the cleansing water, I feel like is the original micellar water, isn't it? We all went crazy for this at one time, and I must say, it's still a firm favourite in my skincare. I must admit, it's the only thing that fully gets my makeup off without, like, stinging my eyes or irritating my skin. It's just a miracle product, isn't it? So handy to carry around with you as well, like to take away with you. I know so many of us aren't going on holiday anytime soon. Some people are though, it depends what you want to do, I guess. But yeah, my cell of water I've always found handy for traveling. I feel like if you're yet to try this, I feel like there'll be a very small percentage of people that haven't tried this. But if you are one of those people that haven't, then take this as your sign. These two together as well are just a winner for glowing skin, trust me. Okay, next up, this looks very, very posh. This is Mitchell and Peach English Leaf Body Oil. How nice is that? So it's a body oil blended with almond oil and vitamin E. It leaves the skin soft and scented. I am slightly obsessed at the moment with body oils, hydrating stuff for my skin, my legs especially, my arms, my chest. When I'm just wearing like a little dress or a little top, I really like my body skin to be glowing. I'm just going to take a bit and pop it on the back of my hand just to see what it's like. Oh, that's really nice. The thing with oils is sometimes I feel like they sit on your skin. So if you can find an oil that soaks into your skin really well and doesn't stay too greasy as like an overlayer, I feel like it's a winner. That feels so nice, honestly. There's nothing I love more than an oil on the skin. Look at the way the light picks it up. Mm, I'm a massive fan of that. Love the smell. Mitchell and Peach. I've never actually heard of that before. Then we have got, what is this? This is a hydrating lip oil. Oh, that's really interesting. So the We Cherie, We Cherie. Um, I mean, I'm not French, but I'm doing my best. Lip oil is a non-sticky, moisture-rich lip treatment that enhances your pout's natural colour. A company called The Beauty Crop, and I just want to say, this summer, like, already, I have ditched lipstick. Like, I, so I'm having, like, a no makeup makeup day. I've got a bit of brows on, a bit of mascara on, and then a bit of lip liner. And if I just am wearing, like, a daily thing like this, I will just put lip liner on and my lip balm on. The reason I haven't put my lip balm on yet is because it's in my bag and I didn't have it in here. But I'm really glad I haven't because I'm about to pop on this lip oil. So, yeah, I've ditched the lipstick and I'm literally just wearing liner and my balm and... And I actually saw somebody on Instagram was like showing a selection of lip oils and I was like oh my god I really need to try that because obviously I'm just loving lip balm this might be like a really good way to hydrate my lips so I'm really really excited that this is actually in this box because I was genuinely going to order a lip oil and now I don't need to this is what it looks like how cute is that so it's like a clear kind of gloss sort of thing and then apparently it's going to like change to match the ph of my lips which is super scientific and really cool smells really really lovely let me try oh my god straight away that feels so nice my lips are honestly so dry i don't really know what's going on with them mm. oh my god that is so good it actually is like going a bit pinky can you see but it's clear in the bottle. Oh my God, that's such a nice color. Sorry, but how nice is that? And it just feels so nice and it's just such a great alternative like I say, to uh, lip gloss, lipstick. Guys, I think this might be my fave thing in the box. Like, why haven't I used the lip oil sooner? Does anybody else use lip oil? And then the final thing, funnily enough, in the box is this dry shampoo. And Lord knows, 
I was just saying how greasy my hair is. I seriously need to sort my hair out today and I'm not washing it because it's not hair wash day for another two days. So thank you, Glossy Box, for some dry shampoo. It's like you read my mind. This is the only thing in the box that isn't a full size. This is a deluxe mini, which I genuinely, I've mentioned this before, I prefer getting mini versions of things sometimes because they are handbag size. They are take everywhere with you size. Also, I'm gonna make um, a bit of a confession now. I know, how do you say, is it Batiste? I know Batiste are like the OG for dry shampoo. I know they are like the best of the best. Everybody raves about them. I have never, ever, ever, ever tried a Batiste dry shampoo, ever. Considering I'm somebody that only washes my hair every like seven to 10 days, you'd think I would have tried this by now. It actually said award-winning number one brand, which I've heard so much about it. This is the Flirty and Floral Fragrance. Okay, so I don't really do any sections or anything when I'm dry shampooing my hair, but um, I just go for it wherever I feel like I need it. Please be good to me and don't be white on my roots. I've got faith in you, you're highly raved about. The bursts are actually really powerful, which I like because I feel like it adds air into your hair. Okay, I can definitely see why this is so raved about because I mean, I've just sprayed a massive white bit there, so let's just ignore that but it genuinely feels like my hair is freshly washed. Tell me I don't look like the Lion Off Wizard of Oz right now. Look how fluffy it's gone. Like it's not even just made it non-greasy, like the volume and the fluffiness in my hair just from using that dry shampoo, what on actual earth? That's mad. Oh, I'm absolutely buzzing with that. It's just like the perfect, like it's so affordable, the Glossy Box subscriptions, and it's just the perfect self-care treat every single month. I'm like, look how happy, that. like that's just made my day. But yeah, it's such a good code to get like one free box with the subscription with my code. Yeah, very impressed with the June box. Um, What am I gonna do now? I've got some emails to catch up on. I... I'm gonna go make another cup of tea. Does that surprise anybody? Probably not. I need to make my bed. And also, I am actually in work later today. Today is one of the days that I work. I work two evenings a week and I'm working an evening today. So I'll be going into work in a bit. And James is going to his mother's after work. She just moved house. So he's going to help her do some bits there. James obviously always cooks when I'm on a late shift. So he's probably not gonna have time to cook anything. So I'm I'm thinking it's bag ball night and I'm thinking I'm gonna do it in the slow cooker. I've never cooked a spag ball in the slow cooker before but same same isn't it you throw it all in if you haven't got a slow cooker you need one. Slow cooker, air fryer, best two things ever. But yeah I need to make my bed, reply to some emails, do a bit of admin, then prep tonight's tea before I go to work and shove it in the slow cooker. Okay so spag ball, mince of course, 5% fat for me and James, two tins of chopped tomatoes, my favourite thing ever to eat as like a light lunch is half a tin of these and half a bag of microwave white rice. I know that sounds like the most plain thing ever Honestly, it's unreal. Love chopped tomatoes so much. A onion, a dash of garlic puree. I like to put garlic in pretty much everything just because of who I am as a person. Some tomato puree. And I'm thinking I'm going to fry off the mince a little bit first um, because if I put it straight in the slow cooker, I don't know, beef just goes very, very, very soft in the slow cooker. Like when I do my beef for a stir fry, I always cook it in the slow cooker because it makes it so tender. And I just feel like in a spag bowl, it shouldn't be mushy. So I'm just going to brown it off a little bit and probably the onion before I whack it in the slow cooker with everything else. Also need a few bits on my spice cupboard. Who remembers when I labelled all of these up and it literally made my life. I'm still waiting for Josh to make like a back shelf just to raise like the back rows of them and they do need filling up a little bit. But honestly, I love it so much. So I want some mixed herbs, the Mediterranean sea salt and I got some grated garlic. Yeah, garlic granules at the back. Some of that in addition to the puree. Okay, so fried off the mince and the onion, literally thrown everything in here. This looks like prison food, I'm not gonna lie, but once it's like cooked and all like properly together, it's so, so nice. Literally love a healthy spag bowl. James goes mad that I snap the spaghetti in half because he likes it to be, you know where you like put the end in and then it melts and then it all goes down and it all stays long, but for me, like convenience is just better than it looking nice. So I'm a snapper. Is anybody else a spaghetti snapper or just me? 
next thing I need to do is make my bed so I'm just gonna take this absolute miracle product wow this just actually describes men doesn't it like this is literally what I have to deal with like what even is that what does James even do in his sleep like look at my side just normal flat laid like what has James been doing Would you actually believe me if I told you I got rid of loads of shoes yesterday? I don't think you would because just look at this. Like who, what couple in the world needs that many shoes? is a freshly made bed honestly cannot wait to get a new later I must admit bumper's corner with his v pillow and his blankie that he's had since he was a puppy is not that aesthetically pleasing neither is the dyson but that is absolutely saving lives at the moment but honestly it just feels like you've got your life together when you've made your bed do you know what i mean anyway guys i mm, the lip oil by the way still feels so good like what two hours after the unboxing feels so nice yeah i am going to make a cup of tea sit down and do some emails which would probably bore you to death so i might as well end this little glossy box unboxing random morning vlog here thank you for spending the morning with me i'm being such good company i'm absolutely starving so i might have to have a second breakfast as well yeah any glossy box questions or any questions in general just pop them in the comments down below there will be a link to my instagram down below as well so please do come and follow me on that in the meantime otherwise i will see you all in sunday's video bye